Yo, what's good, y'all? Welcome back to another video here on The Walking Dead. We are here in episode... Well, we're here in season one, episode two. We're about to head in episode two. We just finished episode one. If you are new here, click the subscribe button. It's telling me that over 80% of people that watch the videos are not subscribed, which is a little, a little alarming. A little alarming. It's a little bit, a little bit. So hit the subscribe button if you are new here. And we're going to get right into this episode. Is it going to give us a recap of what happened last episode? I think that would be kind of uh, interesting if they do. I hear zombies. Yeah, yeah. I know who you are. Oh, I got another good one for you. Be the fumbler. By yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got R.P. Doug. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly, you'll shift in with Doug. You got it, boss. <laughs> Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. With or without you. Fuck Larry. For now. Life. Nah, fuck Larry. RP Doug. Oh my god. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. You got to see me, OG. You got to see me, OG. I'm gonna say what? Who's? I was gonna say who are we with? Nobody. Who's this? Damn! What'd they get this time? <sighs> Looks like a rabbit. <sighs> well, that's another meal lost. <sighs> I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Well, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. Rabbit don't sound too bad. When I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was going to take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. You'll have to ask Lily. She's the one handling the rations. Or mishandling it, if you ask Kenny. He's just worried about his kid getting enough. I worry about Clementine, too. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor inn. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. He's better off without us. Maybe he'll be better off without us. We'll have three fewer mouths to feed. And one fewer gun hand. One way or the other, it's a bad situation. Nah, it's good. Can't Kenny's a bitch. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. A little racist, if you ask me. He thinks I'm a danger to the group, and Clementine. I think he's the one putting us in danger. Exactly. The way Lily worries about his health, I wouldn't be surprised if she's been skimming rations for him. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Uh, knock me flat. I'm gonna get his ass back for that. Trust me, I'm gonna get his ass back for that. <sighs> no, 
Nah. Don't. Gunshot will bring walkers. One bird's not worth it. <sighs> yeah, I know. I'm just really freaking hungry. Shit, was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on. Let's hope it was. It still fuck Kenny. Get hella noise, my boy. Who are y'all? Jesus Christ. Oh shit, no, no, please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher. We'll leave, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Get, get it off, get it off, God damn it! Get, get it off me. Travis, maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? I don't know, man. What the hell happened? Mr. Parker said we should stay off the streets. We were trying to be careful, but... Uh... Lee, this is fucked up. We gotta help him. Please. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Yo, Just shut up. You can get him out. Get After that, you can leave us or whatever. Like I don't care. Please. I gotta get him out of there. Oh God, thank you. Fine, but you gotta hurry. Hurry, please, hurry. Lee, this trap's been altered. There's no release latch. Oh no. I'm not gonna lie, I don't even want to bring all these people back to the camp, even if we do save him. Get me out of this. Mark, get the boys back. Kenny, keep those walkers off of me. Oh God, please save him. Please, you have to get him out. You have to. Is this even working? Forget it. We use chain like that at the airport. Hurry! So many people talking. I can't even focus on what I'm So much blood already. Please hurry up. Why would somebody do this? Let's go. Come on. Oh God, oh God. Stop, stop, stop. Oh, it God. has to be now. Oh, Jesus, those things are going to be here soon. No, no, no. There's got to be something we can do. Bro, I don't want to cut his leg. I do not want to cut his leg. We have to go now. God damn it. Oh, man. Oh, man. Bro, there's nothing else we could do. I'm just wasting there has ammo to be now. a way out we of this. Go. Jesus, I need to walk. This can't be happening. Is he? Is he gonna oh, make God, it? There's so many of them. Please, please, please. Come on, do something. Uh. Lee, are you nice? Quit fucking around. Try something else. Come on, get it off. Bro, I do not want to cut his leg. Oh, please, we can't just leave him like this. Oh Jesus, those stop, things stop, are gonna be stop. here soon. Please. Come on, we gotta go. Now! No! <laughs> no, don't leave me! Damn it, Lee! I I'm sorry. I didn't. Uh... No! We can't leave Mr. Parker like that! Give me the gun! Give it to God me! Damn it, like Throw. this! New gun! <laughs> Why would you grab the gun? He went for the gun. Oh God! Kill the other student too. That's what I'm not gonna lie. That's what I was. That's kind of fucked up. But fuck it. Come on, move! You can't leave me like this. Please get me out. Why is he bringing him back? Whoa! The teacher's dead. I just feel like if we saved him. As I say, I feel like if we saved him, we would just bring, we would have just been bring him back to the camp, and that would have been even worse. But even so, we still bring two students back to the camp. So it's like, and one of them just got shot in the stomach. So why are we even bringing him back? 
<sighs> Tell me since I'm still gonna read some fuck shit happening. Yo, Duck has not said a word since we left the farm. Actually, yes, he said a word like the uh, last of the, at the end of the last episode. Yeah, why are you bringing people? That's so stupid, what bro. Oh, what is going on? I don't have time to explain. Lee, are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken. Lee. Uh, I don't know. Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? No, I don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. Jesus Christ. We're the ones that shot him. Then you should have done the right thing and finished them all. Right? What the hell is wrong with you? Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. True. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. Damn. That food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine, you guys fight it out then. Welcome to the family, kid. No, don't welcome to the family. Go over here and see what I drew. Wait, what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, come on, you're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not going to be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around. But now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. It doesn't matter who's in charge. Those people are here now. I guess we just have to decide what happens no, next. No, Lee, it does matter. One person can't be in charge of everything. You know, it might feel safe for you to sit on the fence. But sooner or later, you're going to have to decide whose side you're on. No, I don't. I don't see any of you stepping oh up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? You have to see me like I'm telling you, you're going to have to see me. You think this is easy for me? Everyone's starting to hate me because I'm the one that rations the food. But nobody else wants to. Bro. You know what? I'm not doing it tonight. You do it. There's today's food rations, but there's not enough for everyone. Good luck. Why is everybody like low key turning on me? I didn't say nothing to anybody. All I said, Kenny, like, why well, didn't say Kenny? I just told him to that we personally cannot keep fighting doesn't even matter who's in charge we just have to come to an agreement and that's what it has to be with some shit just come to an agreement and with kenny's like you gotta pick a side no the fuck i don't fuck both of y'all if that's the case i hate when niggas act like that i don't want to see what he's up to how's this gonna be is he gonna be okay i don't know can you give me a hand real quick Sure. What do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this, sewing up people's injuries. What were you thinking bringing him here? Even if he lives, we aren't going to be able to take care of him. It's what your husband wanted. <sighs> Figures. I love that man to death, but I swear sometimes he's dumber than a bag of hands. He is dumb. Well... You've done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. 
Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. Okay. It keeps the walkers out. Carly's been doing the bulk of the lookout duty. Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Uh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. <laughs> Golly. Hey, will the kid make it? I don't know. You know it was an accident, right? I didn't mean to shoot him. I know. It was crazy back there. Kid acted stupid. Definitely did. You ever miss the Air Force Base? I mean, this wall isn't exactly military standard. No way I'm going back there. You saw what it was like when you guys picked me up. Completely overrun. Lily's pretty pissed at us. Well, what did she want us to do? Just leave a couple of teenagers to the walkers? That's exactly what she should have done. Not gonna lie, you should have. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. <sighs> we'll just give it to Larry. Here, this should help. Try not to make too much noise. Yeah, yeah, we're not stupid. Come on, Larry, give it a rest. I'm sure Lee is getting pretty sick of you thinking he's a danger to the group. Is that what you told him? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. And what are you going to do about it? Look, I don't care what it is, but you two have got to start trying to get along. The only thing I have to do is protect my daughter. And right now, that means getting this damn wall fixed. So I would appreciate it if you two would shut up and let me get back to work. And why did you just snitch on me, though? Nah, I'm not even about to fuck with no, I ain't gonna lie. At least the kids have something to keep them occupied. How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. How many things do I have? Four? So... Alright, I'm going to give one to Clem, Duck, and Carly. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. She can have an apple. I love apples. Thank you. Are there more? No, honey. That was the last one. Oh, um... Enjoy it. You deserve it. Duck can have something. Hey, so. Duck. How about a little food? You take crackers and cheese. Here. Yeah! Oh, man, I'm so hungry! Can I talk to Duck? You were pretty brave when we brought those people in here. That's because I know Mom can fix him. How you doing, Duck? I'm okay. Me and Clementine are coloring. Guess what it is? I don't know. A dog? Nope. Oh, I know. It's a goat, right? No. Catch you later, Duck. Bye, Lee. Yeah, I couldn't guess it. anything she had. Damn. Sleeping any better? No. I know we should be grateful for beds, but no, I'm not. Drugstore? Yeah. You really I mean, missing you Dougie, you ain't you? Ugh, that can't be an easy job. It's not. I won't be able to feed everyone. What should I do? Well, if you wanted to get in good with Lily, I'd make sure Larry gets some food. Even though that guy can be a real dick sometimes. 
On the other hand, giving that food to Kenny and his family might make him remember you, if he decides to take off in that RV one day. What about you? You need food, too. We all need food. I can't tell you what to do, but whatever happens, I know you'll be trying to do the right thing. Thanks, Kami. Want something to eat? Take this jerky. I know you like beef. Here. Me? Ah. How about you? You look like crap, Lee. When was the last time you ate? I'm okay. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. I know I said it didn't matter why you saved me instead of Doug, but... You don't owe me anything, Carly. So you didn't take it. Um, I'm not about to talk to Kenny. Here you go. Uh, let me talk to him. If you start talking hot, I'm going to have to handle him. Word's getting out that you want to leave the motor in. That ain't no secret, Lee. It's probably our best bet. Got room for me and Clem in there? Listen, I got to look out for my family. I got to know that whoever I take with me is going to be looking out for Cat and Duck. Wait, I, I know that... Lee, you left Duck in danger twice. Well, the RV ain't even Did I? Yet, so there's no point in talking about it right now. Oh, he can't be saying I left them in twice. What? Bro, there's no way he's saying I left them there twice. He told me I left him at the farm, Herschel's farm, which is not true. You left his son to die, if we be real. I don't remember the second time. I'm trying to think of the second time where I left his son. I don't remember. Um, where are we going? I don't know. The coast does sound like a smart idea. Maybe that is the best thing. I know that it is. I'm taking my family. I want to smack the shit out of you, bro. I ain't going to lie. Can I leave this area? What the fuck? Uh, let me actually talk to Benny. Hey, is my friend gonna make it? I don't know, but Kaja will do her best. I promise. I can't believe we just left Mr. Parker there. I tried. I really did. I just ran out of time. There was nothing else we could do. So who are you people? Our group's gonna want to know. I'm Ben. Ben Paul. The guy ben in the truck Paul? is Travis. He played in the school band with me. Mr. Parker was the band director, but... God, I can't believe we left him. How you holding up, kid? Uh, well, I, um... Uh, I keep wondering if I could have done something to help, you know? Some kind of... I don't know. Something. I'm just gonna shut up. I wish I could stop thinking about it. Relax. We'll get your friend back to normal in no time. I sure hope so. Okay, Ben. I'm gonna try to give this thing to... Can I give it to Lily? Here. I don't want anything from you. What? Take it anyway. You need to eat. This doesn't change anything. I didn't do anything wrong to you. Save for someone else. Uh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. What I even do to you? We should talk about you and Kenny. What about us? They're arguing. It's getting pretty out of hand. You know people notice that. Look, I'm working my ass off to make sure we have a good setup here, and Kenny just doesn't appreciate that. All we need is food. But there is no food. You know that better than anyone. Well, we'll just have to find some. Maybe we should think about leaving the motel. God, not you too. 
I know Kenny wants to leave. I think that's why he's so eager to get the RV working. But this is a good spot. We're protected, we're close to the drugstore, we have a routine now and it's working. For now. Keep an eye out. Fine. <sighs> oh my gosh. I'm going to give it to... Uh... I'll give it to Larry, even though he's a bit of a douche. <sighs> Here, Larry. Lily would want you to keep your strength up. I should shove this up your ass, but I'm too hungry. Oh, man. Just seeing the food is driving me crazy. I really don't care. I gave it out to who I think needed it. I fixed relationships I think needed to be fixed. Not such an easy job, is it? I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Lee. Kenny, I know I ran out of food before. Hey, it was a tough choice. But you took care of the kids. That's what a real man does. You might earn yourself a place on the RV after all. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. I'm not going to lie. I don't even want to go in the RV with you. Ken, Lee, come here, please. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... I'm sick of this shit, too. You don't think I am? Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's for the best. We're already struggling to feed our own kids. That man you brought, I tried, but he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. What about the other kid? <laughs> oh, what? What? Well, get this man off of me. You missed? Fuck. How about you help? Yo, Larry, can you help me? Why is nobody helping me? Thank you. Larry took one okay? swing, missed, and never tried to help Thanks. again. Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! Oh my god, can you shut the fuck up? Why didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word! But he wasn't bitten, I swear! Well, your not-bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What?! Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. Wait, what? Everyone? I I guess so. I don't know. I all I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and God. Back off! Back off! Whoa, lady, relax. Are you trying to sneak up on this boy? We just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off, Carly. Let me shut up.
Looks like you folks got the motel locked down, which, which is fine, but uh, if you could spare any gas, well, we'd be much obliged. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Yeah, I got a dairy. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. So, uh, what are y'all thinking? Um... I don't trust it. I ain't gonna lie. I don't trust it. I think we'll stay here. We're starting to develop a good vibe here at the motel. Good vibe? Well, Christ, daddy -o. I'm sorry the folks with the food supply and defenses didn't tickle your pretty pink ass. Did you just call me daddy -o? We need to think like a group, Lee. This affects everyone. Then we vote. If everyone agrees, then we'll send you guys with some gas to check the place out. And if we don't? Then we'll stay in this wretched roach motel with your recreational paperweight over there. <laughs> Plus, we stay close to Macon where we have access to the pharmacy. For Dad. Kenny? Katja? We go. Dad? You betcha, Pumpkin. Carly? I said we go. I'm in. If they're offering food, we gotta at least check it out. I don't, I don't, I didn't trust them. Clementine, what do you think? Lee, I'm very hungry. Okay. Alright, looks like we're going to a dairy. Now something bad happens, this is all so, on y'all dumb motherfuckers. Really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. It's nice to get away from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. Me? You think they'd want me for a leader? Sure. Everybody looks up to you. Well, not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Because of your past. Yep. Does anyone else know? Uh, Larry knows. Larry knows. Great. That can't be easy. Clementine might know. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore and asked me about it. I lied to her, but... What exactly did happen with the senator? It was an accident. I mean, I, I pretty much knew about the affair. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not sure everyone would see it that way. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years, I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I, uh, I really appreciate that. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? The motor end's my home now, I guess. Hmm. Well, that place seen better days, huh? You can say that again. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor end. Uh, who's running things over there? Um... I am. I am. You guys have any questions? You come to me. She likes that. <laughs> How many people you got over there anyway? Well, the kid here is our newest arrival, but we're all looking forward to some food. We really need it. Well, here's to helping each other out. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's. You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? What? Shit, get down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always pulling this shit. Bandits? Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided yeah, my camp. Who are they? Shh. Fuck you. Fucking you knew we were hungry. Me, and you guys were keeping it up. There's only two of them. Oh, no. There's yeah, you know what? More. We ate it all. 
are you gonna fucking do about it? Don't worry, Penny and I got you covered if something happens, but let's just wait this out. I hope they move on. Fuck you! Holy shit. What did he kill him over? Let's get to the dairy where it's safe. I kind of zoned out when they were talking a little bit. Okay, that just happened. And it seemed like they knew them, so what else was going on over there? Here it is. St. John Family Dairy. Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out? <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. We've got kids in our group. Doesn't seem safe to have them near a lethal fence. Oh, don't worry about that. We got plenty to keep them entertained. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. Word. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's been living down at the old motel, round the way. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? I got it. I've got things under control over there. Well, I hope you know what you're doing. That place isn't safe like it is here. Now that y'all are here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Thanks for having us. We brought some gasoline on good faith. We're all incredibly hungry. These are for y'all. Bake fresh this morning. Amazing. Can't are those biscuits? Like that Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybell will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What's she? We have a vet. We could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my, our prayers have been answered. Maybe our whole group could come for the day. Well, how about this? Uncle Lee yeah, face, he, he's a little, and you feel me? Some dinner, a big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. She can. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. I shouldn't have said it to me. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. Well, you can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get you me when you're ready. You what? You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh, man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Um... Yeah, let's just make sure it's good. Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously, they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. And checking the fence perimeter? Sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. All right. I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy. Mark, you're too much of a good person. I'm not going to lie. A swing. Too bad it's broken. I'll bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this to play on. 
Kids used to like that old swing even more than the tour sometimes. <laughs> I'll bet. How'd it break? Got busted the first day those things showed up. Thank God no one was on it at the time. Looks like it just needs a new board for the seat and some rope. Make it safe for Clem and Duck. And let the St. John's know we can pull our weight around here. This dairy won a lot of ribbons in its day, huh? This place was my daddy's life. Meant everything to him. You know, when he first bought this place, it was a single-story house. Is that right? After us kids was born, he insisted on adding a second floor. He said they had to have room for as many babies as they could have. <laughs> Mama, she was done after damn. My folks stopped after two as well. Then one day, the world changed. Now this place is all we have left of Daddy. That's why we take such good care of it, and why we want to share it with good folks like yourselves. Sounds good. Definitely does sound good. That rope. This rope is perfect for the swing. Oh. Now we just need some board. Can we go in here? Well, hi there, Lee. What can I do for you, sweetie? Can I help you with anything around the house? I think with Danny's help, I've got things pretty well squared away in the kitchen. But feel free to check with Andy. He's got a lot of weight on his shoulders these days, so I'm sure he'd love any help he can get. How many rooms does this house have? Rooms? Why do you ask? I'm just asking. It looks custom built. Nice of you to notice. My husband put a lot of work into this old house. Well, he did a fantastic job. I believe in making a house a home. She's avoiding questions. Job of keeping this place up. Well, now aren't you sweet? Thank you, Lee. The boys and I have tried to adapt as best we can, but we still keep some of our old routines to help remind us of better times. A southern accent is pretty attractive. Just what saying. What happened to the rest of your staff? Oh, we've had our share of tragedy here, just like everyone else. I'm sure. pretty attractive. Some of our staff took off to find their family as soon as they heard the news. The few that stuck around, well, we lost most of them the first night those things showed up here. It was a tough night. Well, if anything comes up that I can help with, feel free to let me know. Well, Lee, I sure appreciate it. No problem. Something to cut it down to size. This might make a good seat for the swing. Saw. Hmm. Mind if I use one of these boards? Already making some repairs, huh? I like a guy who takes some initiative. Yeah, go right ahead. Nice, and we got the rope, so. We'll do that when we're headed back over there. Looks like the fence runs around the entire property, not just the house. Yep, can't take any chances when it comes to safety. Try to figure out more information. Hi. Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. Been stockpiling, huh? We 
you've scraped together a good supply in the last few months. How about yourselves? What kind of protection do you have around here? We collected a few guns to protect ourselves, but we really only use them when we go off the property. When we're inside the perimeter, the fence is all we need to keep us safe. We can't be the first people you've invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food, but ultimately they moved on, looking for the people they lost contact with. That doesn't sound, like, believable. An electric fence is enough to keep out walkers? Walkers? <laughs> is that what you call them? <laughs> That's good. Uh, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman. He figured out how to amp it up with the generators. We used to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches sizzle and pop when they got too close. Closest thing to entertainment these days, I guess. These generators are enough to power the whole dairy? We got lots, and we gotta keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick. Yeah. Like us. I'm gonna get to know the place for a minute. Okay, okay well, we gotta secure the perimeter, so don't take too long. I think there was a farm back here or something. Let me talk to Mark. So what have you found out? Not a farm, a barn. That's what I meant to say. The fence is no joke, at least around the house. I'm looking forward to seeing the rest of it. I'll keep looking around. All right, keep me posted. For sure, Mark. All right, this shouldn't be too tough. I'll be damned. Mama's gonna be thrilled to see that old swing all fixed up. Hopefully our kids will like it too. Did you say something, darling? Oh my goodness. Did you do that? Just trying to help out a bit around here. You know, I used to push Andy and his brother out here on that swing every night when they were kids. Seems like such a long time ago now. Yeah, it does. Wait, what? I could go out there. Hey, uh, what are you fixing to do around the barn? How secure is your barn? Having a safe place for the cows is pretty important. Thanks to the fence, nothing gets in here anymore. Unfortunately, the daddies took most of our cattle before we got it running. Mind if I take a look? Sure, but uh, why don't we do that after we tend to the perimeter? Sounds good. Nah, how will we do that right now? Nah, there'll be plenty of time for all that stuff later, after we go fix up the fence. Why do you keep telling me that like you're trying to hide something, bro? I don't like that. What's that? Generator. <laughs> you guys come along with gas just in time. Hey, uh, don't mess with that, okay? The thing's a little tricky, and I don't want to spend half a day trying to fix it again. All right, we could just go to the front. Of her. Hi. No, 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 no. Maybe I could talk to Mark about him being a little fishy about the barn. Hey. I didn't get a chance to check out the barn area yet. I'll do that after helping Andy get the perimeter secured. Generator might be a problem. And he said it's tricky and repairing it takes him a while. Still, it's a hell of a lot more secure than the motor is. I'll keep looking around. All right. Keep me you close. had nothing to say about anything I just told you. Okay, let's just. I'll try one more time. Nah, there'll be plenty of time. All right, I'm all that stuff we go After we go fix front. up the fence. Come on, come on, come on, bro. Hi. Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it's overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. 
You never know. They have something up with this place, bro. I don't know what it is, but there's something up with this place. I asked about how many rooms are in the house. She don't want to tell me how many rooms. Like, what am I going to do with that information? I asked to go see That's the boy. He said, ah, you can do it after. Safe enough for us to Why stay? can I do it now? We can. It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy, but let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. What's up with you telling him what I said about him thinking I'm yeah. dangerous? Look, you said it. You even admitted it right to him. I try to be civil at least. He's too busy being cranky to notice. There's one. Ugh. Lee, it's dead. Come on, let's push it off. Looks like he's stuck. Looks like he's stuck. So do you want to do something about it, bro? Disgusting. Who do you think he was? Maybe a farmhand. I don't know. I hope he wasn't like this long before the fence finished him off. Yeah. Nice. Come on. I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. Can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? Yeah, well, it's useless without gas. We might need food, but the St. John's need gas, too. Not many drivers these days, Lee. We could scrounge up a year's worth of gas, easy. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. We've got enough people yeah. to take this place by force if we, we have do. To. Sheesh, Lee. You sound like Kenny. Nah, I sound There's like another Lee. one. I see it. Never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. Christ. I can't stop thinking about dinner. Would have been nice to get some of those rations. I get hungry too, you know. I'm hungry too, Mark. Do you think they're gonna be good for it? Dinner for a whole group of people? If they've got as much food as they say, I, I think so. Come on, I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> If you're waiting for that guy to help, it ain't gonna happen. Come on. Come on. A little help here, Lee? Yeah. Holy fuck! What just happened? The fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. Oh, ah. man. What the? Get to the gate. Get down. You asshole. Jesus. Now they playing nasty. Who the fuck is that? No idea. Fuck. Now what? With the fence on, that gate is our only way out. Oh my god, I almost got clipped. Why is it not moving? 
Oh. Get down. Blades are stuck in the dirt. Can I move it now? No, I'm still stuck in the dirt. I just looked back there and wouldn't even let me do anything. Bro, I literally tried to lift it up, but it didn't let me. Is this it? Alright. We can reach the gate. We can get through this fence and back to the house. Ah! Shit! Did you really think you fuck with us? Over there! Wow. What happened? Shit. It's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. We're gonna have to move. Body. Another one? How many of those things did we push down? Give us the food! Give us the food? What are you talking about? <laughs> what? Stomping that nigga fucking face, bro. You know, like they always want to be fucking alive. Yeah. Uh, Come on. The gate's right coming there. back. Oh, should be good. Nice hit. Let's get out of here. Fuck is wrong. The electric fence came on. Some people started attacking from the woods, and we got trapped between them and the fence. Holy shit, are, are you okay? I heard Mark yelling. Thought y'all were giving me the all clear. Man, I am real sorry. Oh my lord, what happened to you, sweetheart? It was those bastards in the woods, mama. Yeah, I'll be alright once it's out, but god damn it hurts. Hey y'all. Mark, oh my god, what happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ, are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. That arrow's deep in there, I too. Just pull it out. Oh no, honey, come on, Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have you all sorted out. Well, you must be the best. What man. kind of shit is oh this? God. We ran into Shut some people all the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning, killed a bunch of our farmhands. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. You knew about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. Christ, maybe you were right about this place, Lee. It was just a fluke thing. We can't stop assuming there aren't bad people out there. What the hell do you mean a fluke? It could have happened anywhere. Could have happened to us in the motor end. Listen, it we could have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Bandits? Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Whoa, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. 
You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, that's real charming, Dad. Where's Ben and Carly? Since Carly and Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. Hey, kids, look what Lee got working for you. A swing. I love swings, just like at my treehouse. Come on, Doc. Thanks, Lee. You're the best. Yeah. No wonder you're the leader of your group. Yeah, I heard him. Sorry to break the news to y'all. This is my shit now. What are you talking about? I'm going straight for that barn. You're not telling me no this time. Sorry. The fuck were you hiding in here? If I don't see a cow, I'm gonna be a little. If there's not enough room in the house for all of us, I guess a few of us could camp out here in shifts. Yo, I said go in. If there's not enough room in the house, why does for he all not want to go I in? I guess a few of us could camp out here in shifts. Oh my god, Lee is being a bitch. Lee, oh my god, I'm so glad you two didn't get killed out there. Do you think Mark will be okay? Wish I knew, but I think he's in good hands now. Yeah? It's not too bad? He'll be fine. I've seen guys go through worse. How could you all bring us to this place? How do you feel about leaving the motor in? It's a welcome change of scenery. I didn't ask you. I don't know. If we just stayed where we were, then Mark wouldn't have ended up with an arrow in his shoulder. That is true. Hey, uh, can I talk to you in private for a second? Okay. It's been three months. Your dad still treats me like I'm some kind of asshole. Yeah, well, don't expect that to change. That's just how he is. Oh, he's just racist. Okay. How do you put up with him? Look, my dad can be an ass sometimes. I know that. But he's not a bad guy. He just... He's got a lot of pain. He's been through so much. And lost... Pretty much everything. And it's hardened him, you know? Yeah, he's bitter and hateful, but that's all just to protect himself. And me. All he's got left in the world is me. And that goes both ways. So yeah, he's probably gonna keep treating you like crap, but that's just because he still has one thing left to care about. So don't judge him. Don't judge me for sticking by him. He's my dad. And I love him. For sure, will we? Think our little arrangement with them was a good idea? A little late to be asking that now, don't you think? Dad's right. Let's just wait for dinner. And then if Mark is feeling up to it, we leave. I don't want to push our luck here. Now, now, let's not be hasty. I take it you and Kenny didn't exactly make up on the way here. I tried seeing things from his point of view, having a wife and kid and everything. But gambling with your family's life is pretty stupid if you ask me. It's true. Hey, thanks for backing me up this morning at the motel. I know I came down on you guys pretty hard, but you do agree with the way I'm running things, right? Yeah, I do believe you. You're a good leader, Lily. Kenny's too emotional, but his intentions are in the right place. Still, it'd be best for all of us if you two could try to work together once in a while. That's sometimes impossible, man. I actually two people to work together. I think I said all I could to her. Both of them, because he felt like answering questions for some reason. Is he just going to say the same thing he was saying? Yeah, There's whatever. There's room in the house for all of us. Hey, Clem, do you like the swing? Yeah, it's fun. Thanks for fixing it. You're welcome. Will you push me on it? Sure. Happy to push you on the swing. Mind if Clementine takes a turn? All right, Duck. Let Clementine have a try for a bit. Okay. 
Yeah, you've been swinging for the whole time since we introduced you to the bitch. How are you holding up, Clementine? I'm okay, I guess. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm just a little worried about Mark. Is Mark going to be okay? You got lucky out there. Could have been a lot worse. Are you going to find the people who hurt Mark? Well, we have to make sure they don't hurt anyone else. Be careful. I want you to stay lucky, too. Ever since I met you, I've had good luck, so don't worry. Okay. What do you think of the dairy? It's pretty. It reminds me of how things used to look before. Yeah, it does. Do you think things will ever get back to how they were? Not sure. I'm not sure, Clem. I hope so. I hope so, too. All right, Clem. That's enough for now. Okay. Thanks for pushing me. Of course. It's all yours. Yeah! Okay, Duck. Don't pop a gasket. Um, let's talk to Ken Dog. Hey, Haley, found anything interesting? I was talking to Andy a bit earlier. Doesn't sound like they have too many guns around. They rely mostly on the fence to keep them safe. So long as you're on this side, things are all right, provided the fence holds out. Well, that's the problem. When there's no more gas, there's no more fits. That's true. Well, it's good to know what we're working with here. Keep looking around, and let me know if you find anything else. I guess, uh, Lily isn't too thrilled about being here? I could give two shits about what Lily wants. Duck and Katja need food, and I'm not about to sit around that motor inn and watch him go hungry. You're with me on this, right? I'm not sure. You're not making me pick sides, Kitty. Well, you better think about it, because that time is coming. I don't care, bro. I'm not picking sides. I hate people that make you do that. How you holding up? I hope they feed us, Lee. Soon. On the way over here, I was getting dizzy. Hands shaking, cold sweats. Thought I was gonna pass out. Nah, you just a bit food here. Yeah, but I'm not just talking about one meal, you know? Did Duck and Katja get here okay? Well, it wasn't easy. Duck didn't look so good on the walk over to this place. Well, if everything works out, maybe he and Katja can have an easier life here. That's funny. You didn't seem too worried about Duck when Larry wanted to throw him out into the street back in Macon. That's in the past, Kitty. A lot's happened since then. Yeah, right. I'm gonna go have a look around. Don't wait too long to help scope out that bandit camp. It'll be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about the St. John's and their relationship with those bandits or whatever. Right. I'll see what I can find. True say, Kenny. True say. Still not fucking with you. You're still a bitch. Fellas. How you feeling, Lee? Look, I'm really sorry you almost got killed out there. Uh, we should have told you how dangerous it was. No shit. You saw what they did to your buddy. Nobody's safe here until we start to fight back. But how? The two of us should go out and do some recon. Then we'll all mount up for some revenge. Hell yeah. Who the fuck are these people in the woods? We don't know. I think some of them used to work at the big box up the way. Save lots. Yeah. Anyway, they're nutty as all hell and get mad when they're hungry. So are you ready to head out there and find their camp? Um... I think I look everywhere. Let me look around. We'll go in a few minutes. Is there anything else we need to look at? I think I looked at everything. I kind of want to see. I don't want to. Ah, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. Let's just go. Hey, Lee. Change your mind about going out to track down them bandits? Yeah. It'll be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about what we're up against. Let's do it. I'll stay here and hold down the fort. Remember, we're just doing reconnaissance for now. No use getting ourselves killed. Are you going now? Yeah, I'll be back soon, Clementine. 
Please be lucky. I will. See anything? Not yet. I know it's around here. It's gotta be close. Here. Oh shit, you found it? Sneaking, we didn't exactly see anybody. We weren't sneaking before, so. You see anybody? Shut up. Watch my back, Lee. I'm gonna check out the tent. too small it can't be their main base that's what i was thinking take a look around anyway there's probably some shit around here they stole from us empty but it looks like someone's been eating out of these recently yuck i don't need that Just water. Hey, gas. Nothing but fumes. Shit. What's in the boxes? They're all from save lots. The first few days, they told folks to gather to the save lots by the interstate. Anything worth taking? We don't know whose camp this is. Might not be bandits. It must be. They don't share their neighborhood. Boxes from the dairy here. Probably the food we've been giving them. Fuckers cross the line. You in cahoots with these people? You're not telling me something, bro. Hmm. Looks like they were moving a lot of stuff. Nothing. Empty. What do you find? A video camera. Let me see that. Battery's dead, though. Oh, good. What else they got over here? Let's see if we can find you anything. You acting funny, bro. Room. I see you handled that gun I lent you pretty well. You a hunter? No, but Lily keeps us all on a regular training schedule. Lily? I thought you were running things back there. 
Yeah, but uh, uh, she's got the combat training. Looks like they expected to be here a while. Your guns down. I ain't going back. You tell him Jolene ain't going back. Going hey, we down. had a deal. No shooting as long as we gave you food. What the fuck happened? You had a deal with them. I ain't them. Oh, I know you. I know what you are. And I know what you do. You don't know me. Steal my shit. Steal everything from me. We had a deal. You people broke it first. Now, maybe you didn't hear me last time. When I asked you, sweet, put your damn guns down. You think I won't kill you? I'm gonna take this here crossbow and put a nice, sharp arrow right through your eyeball and into your goddamn brain. You're not me. She talking about You're her. monsters. All men are monsters. Take what they want and then destroy it all. Take a can of beans. Take a little girl. It's all the fucking same to you. Forget I'm it, Lee. Up. She's bad shit doing... loco. The crazy lady in the woods brings fresh meat to the farm. You shut it now! You know what? I changed my mind. I'm putting this arrow right through your balls. Yeah, right through. String them up on that tree. Then I'm gonna head down to that farm and shoot every goddamn person I see. Put down the crossbow. No, sir, I need it. I need it to kill you fuckers. <laughs> Go on. Tell him, boy. Tell him what you got in mind. Oh! oh. He just clipped her. God damn it. You straight up murdered that woman. Hardly. She had a crossbow pointed at my forehead. <sighs> what was she talking about? It's a clean shot, though. Right through the forehead. That's good shooting right there. Still, what a waste. So, that's it. We going back? If they ain't here, I don't know where they are. And it ain't a good idea to go He said what a waste. Looking for them. So yeah. What does that mean? Back. Once they see this, they'll get the message. Nah, they up to some shit on that dairy, I ain't gonna lie. I don't think she was just throwing bullshit. Maybe half of it was bullshit. That's crazy, though. We hit up that nigga, we put him on scoop. I dropped out of school, I'm eating this cool. My bitch looking cute, she rocking them hoops. Why three on her boots? No Yeezy, I boots. I'm smoking some boots, why I'm in the booth? I know that's cliche, but I'm telling the truth.